Hello everyone, Sam is here again. Uh, this video I'm making it about uh, Fibonacci tool. Uh, actually, I was teaching uh, some Elliott wave um, to these guys uh, in a webinar, uh, but uh, everybody's uh, wondering, you know, where uh, I got all these numbers on my Fibonacci tool, where they come from, and how do I calculate them? And explaining each and every one uh, is becoming a headache, so I just decided to uh, make a tool that will benefit everybody. I mean, uh, a, a video. Okay, so Fibonacci, uh, 0.618 and all those numbers, uh, 0.618 is the golden ratio, everybody knows that, but uh, when I use uh, 0.786 and 88.6, here in my tool, you know, 1. Uh, 1.127, and people wanted to know where they come from. So basically, let me explain it to you, what is a uh, Fibonacci tool? Uh, Fibonacci was a guy, and he was an Italian mathematician, and uh, he is the one who's invented these numbers from 0 to 9. Okay, um... Uh, before that, we were using Roman numbers. So, what is the uh, Fibonacci sequence? Uh, these are the numbers in sequence. <coughs> what it is that it, is, it is started uh, from, let's say, zero and one. When you add both numbers, what you get one. Now you have three numbers: zero, one, one. So uh, now add the last two numbers, which is one and one. Then you get a next number in the sequence two. Now add the last two numbers, which is one and two. Then you get a next number three add last two numbers two and three you get five and then add five and eight uh, three and five you get eight and you add five and eight you get 13 this is how you get uh the next number in the sequence okay continuously uh to the infinity whatever so now the the the, the, the best thing about this uh the, the you know uh, the major thing uh, that we need to know is uh, if you take any number any two numbers in the sequence and divide the first number by the next number let's say uh, we take 89 and 144. So when you divide 89 by 44, 144, and uh, if you have a calculator, you can do it yourself and see what is the results. Okay, the number you're gonna get is 0.618. All right, and if you divide the next number, that's a 144 divided by uh, 233, which is the next number. It's uh, uh, also. 0.618. So in this sequence, any two numbers, you take the first number divided by the next number, <coughs> you're going to get 0.618. That's why it is very, very important, uh, 0.618. And also, uh, uh, <coughs> if, okay, now from that number, I'm going to take and then show you how I got other numbers. 0.618. Now, the square root of 0.618 is 0.786. Now you know that where it comes from. Okay, this is the final number in a uh, harmonic uh, pattern called Gertle, all right? Now, uh, a reciprocal of that number, I mean, uh, 0.618 is 1.618, <coughs> and the square of 0.618 is another ratio we use in Fibonacci tool, which is 0.382, <coughs> okay? Excuse me. Now, if you take a square root of 0.786, then you get this number, 88.6. And then when you take a reciprocal of 0.786, you get 127, which is right here. And then when you take a square of 0.786, you take you, you get back to 0.618. All right, this is how it is. Now another thing is that uh, a square root of 0.382 is equal to 0.618, and reciprocal of 0.382, which is 1 over 0.382, is equal to 2.618. So you see, all these numbers are interrelated. Now, reciprocal of 0.886, which is here in my tool, is this number, 112.8, okay? And also, a square root of uh, 1.618 will equal to 127 again. So, whichever you say, you know, <coughs> whichever way you look at it, I mean, it's either a square or a square root or reciprocal. So all these numbers are uh, you know, derived from uh, these uh, uh, formulas, okay? So this is how it is. Another thing that I want to mention is uh, the importance of 1.618, and uh, it has a, a name as well, and we call it phi, which uh, you probably heard that it's been used in pyramids, and it's in nature, and here and there. And how you calculate that, let me show you. I, I'm just going to try. I'm not an expert, but, uh, okay, let's draw in a square, Okay, this is how you get the value of the phi or 1.618. Okay, you draw it a square and uh, let's say you take uh, this tool and see if I can draw it. You take the middle line, <coughs> okay, 
not I mean just take this uh, the, the center point of any side and then go all the way to one of the corner of the opposite side and then draw an arc to the base again uh, let's say uh, like this okay with the tool uh, our uh, circle drawing tool okay to the baseline and then extend your rectangle I mean it's gonna be a rectangle now it's not gonna be square extend your square and make a, a, a rectangle to this point okay and to the same height again okay now this is a rectangle and it's a pretty nice decent um, you know a shape which if you notice that uh, you know it's a shape of a credit card and most of the briefcases even your laptop I'm working on is has the same shape okay uh, it's a lot of things picture frames and uh, this you know this rectangle uh, it, it has a big value in our lives but the beauty of this is that th this side the ratio between this side and the base is one one to one point six one eight this base is one point six one eight if this is one this is one point six one eight guys okay so this is what it is this is the value of five uh, don't confuse with the value of pi pi is different pi is point uh, 3.14 which is uh, when you open a circle okay the length of uh, uh, you know the circle when you open it up uh, but this is phi this has been used uh, uh, you know in pyramids and in big constructions and here there so now you know uh, what is uh, 1.618 is right here you know that in Elliott wave the third wave is always 90% of the time goes to 1.618 okay so this is very important number if a pullback let's say you have a wave one and then uh, pull back to 0.618 or 0.786 usually 0.618 will take you to the extension of 1.618 okay so this is how you get these numbers and this is uh, what the importance of uh, 61.8 uh, how you get it out of the sequence okay and uh, 1.618 is also by the way if you t if you uh, take like let's say these two numbers in the sequence uh, 144 or 233 so if you divide 144 by 233, you get 0.618. And if you divide 233 by 144, that's where you get 1.618. All right. So it, this is just, uh, you know, I wanted to explain you. And now I can tell everybody to go and just uh, watch my video, whoever is going to ask me about my tool now. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.